to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. And if you guys want to take part in it, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I randomly choose them from my new notifications. So today we're doing a world overview, but we're also doing a little bit of a how to not install it through your launcher because I learned that from Lisa, aka Simplicity, uh, how to make it so you don't have to put it in your launcher because I try to put as little as possible in my launcher. All I have in my launcher is store items and apparently there's a way to not do that too. I don't know it. I know it's around and I should probably, you know, look into it, but I try not to install worlds or anything like that into my, uh, my launcher because it slows everything down and it's just, you just don't want to install things in there because sometimes you can't get them off of there because it only allows so much stuff. It's just a pain in the butt, let me just tell you. But we are going to do a world overview of Barcelona. I was looking for worlds to download. I was looking for something that just like brought, you know, just stuck out to me and just looks exciting. And I'm like, okay, this looks like a pretty massive world. So I apologize, but I am really excited to take a look at this. So it says Barcelona. Around two years ago, I had the crazy idea to start this project, the most ambitious ambitious one I've ever thought of doing. Today, after all this time, I finally can present to you the final version of Barcelona. So urban and modern, yet historical and artistic, Barcelona is one of the most important cities on the Mediterranean shores. The proud capital of Cata Catalonia invites you to discover its lively street life, its singular architecture, and its bustling nightlife. Barcelona is calling you. Don't miss it. So it shows you the details, the world size. It is large. Number of residential lots, 31. Community, 82. Rabbit holes. Now, there is something that I was kind of looking at. So obviously, there's custom content. So it said the world doesn't include, but uses 65 dot package files. This means no undesired to CC will be installed if you don't download it. Right here is the CC. There is a merged version of it. And there is also a folder that has everything individual. If you don't want the merged, only install one. I took the, um, I took just the CC merged because I always merge my CC anyway. So I took just that and I will show you guys where I put that. Obviously you put it in your mods packages folder, but I'm going to kind of show you guys how I go about this and install a world in case, you know, maybe some of you guys need a little extra help with that because I've noticed that when I'm doing certain videos, some guy, sometimes you guys are asking like, how do I do this or how do I do that? So I thought I would make this really long video, which I'm sure it's going to be, and kind of show you everything I do when I am downloading and installing a world step by step. So we will get to this in a second. So you need this CC. It says, warning, if you don't install the CC, the world will lose all its playability and charm. The game will not replace the objects, so the rabbit holes will be missing and the look will get radically worse. So one thing I was kind of concerned about is right here is it says, you know, you need these rabbit holes here. Well, when I click on it, it's a 404. It is not found. So I'm going to hope that this isn't going to, you know, mess up anything. I don't know where else to find this. So I'm just going to skip it because it's just, it's not there. I can't download it because it's not there. Um, which is unfortunate, but you know, we'll, we'll just deal with it. It says all, um, are included except for the gypsy wagon, the bistro. Um, so there's just a few. So I'm hoping it won't like totally kill it or anything like that. And it says, I've used the boardwalk and carousel sets from the store. I recommend to have them. However, not having them will only affect one lot, which is the amusement park. I have them. So I am not too concerned about that. Uh, I think I have them both. Yeah, I think I have them both. Um, so, you know, here you go. You can see some pictures and stuff like this. It looks like it is beautiful. It's obviously going to be massive. I am really excited to take a look, but I'm going to scroll all the way down which is forever and a day. So here we go. Now the download links and it shows you the requirements right here, everything you need. So these are all the things you're going to need. And then download links. There are two different options. Option one is the one that I downloaded. It says world type city like Bridgeport. This means more traffic, no wild animals, different club hours, opening hours, etc. This version traveler does not work. So I downloaded this one, the populated city, because I, I kind of like the city life in the Sims. There's also option two world type suburb, like sunset, sunset Valley. 
and it does work with Traveler and it, you can get unpopulated, populated, whatever you want to do. If you want to have taxis driving around the city in the suburb version, install the traffic mod. So, and then of course, there's a bunch of thanks to the, I guess, the people that were helping and everything. So this is the one we're going to be looking at. The option one, city like Bridgeport populated because I love when um, the worlds are populated. So that's the one I am going to be looking at. So I went ahead and clicked on this and obviously it takes you to OneDrive and you know it's gonna pop up and then you just hit save file. I already did that so I'm not going to click save file. Then we're gonna come over here to Delphi's dash dashboard which is something that you will need to download if you want to do what I'm going to show you which is not install it through the launcher. So I will have this linked and also Barcelona linked. So Sims Delphi multi extractor dashboard it is so, so easy to use. It is literally a lifesaver. So instead of, you know, it's saying, let me show you this. Instead of it being the uh, Sims 3 pack, it's going to be a dot package file. So all you have to do is open up your Delphi's dashboard right here. And it's going to say, step one, select folder that contains Sims 3 pack. I have mine as downloads because that's where it went, obviously. And then step two, select the destination you want to extract it to. I'm going to extract it back to my download so I can show you where I go in order to place this and what I need to do. So you can extract it anywhere. Like if it is a uh, store, I like uh, from Sims Resource, I always well, if I download anything, I make it a dot package. I go through the Delphi dashboard and I do dot package and then I put it in my mods packages folder there. Because like I said, I don't like to install anything, especially CC into my launcher. It's just a no go. It's just, it's not good. It's not good for your game. So this is what I use all of the time. So I'm going to show you how this is going to change. So obviously we're, it's in downloads and it's going to extract to download. So it takes like literally two seconds. So you just hit extract. And then here it is, Barcelona populated, and then it, it says dot package. So since it's a world, it's not going to be dot package. So you have to click on this. Oopsie, I didn't mean to open that. Click on this so that you can delete the package and type world. So you want it to say dot world and then it'll say if you change a file name the file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it yes because you want it to say dot world when you put it into the file or where you need to put it because otherwise it's not going to work if it says dot package now the merge cc that's obviously going to stay the same because you're putting that in your your um let me show you guys real quick you're going to put that in your electronic arts sims 3 your mods, packages, and you're just going to plop her down in your packages thing here. So now for this, I am going to delete this because I don't want that. I'm not putting that in my launcher. We're gonna take Barcelona populated dot world. Make sure you change it to dot world because if you don't, it's not gonna show up in your game. So then you're going to go to your PC, wherever your game is downloaded, and I'm going to my Windows programs x86, then we're gonna go to Origin Games, The Sims 3, and then you're gonna scroll down and it's not game, you go to Game Data, and then you go to Shared, Non-Packaged, and then you're gonna see a folder that says Worlds. This is where you, you want see to in go. The worlds, um, the worlds folder, I have all of my worlds here. The ones that I have downloaded that are CC are these ones here, and you can see I changed the name to Dot .world. So we're just going to drag this over to our little folder, and it's going to be in your game now. You don't have to go through the launcher. You don't have to install anything. I suggest this so, so much because putting things in your launcher really slows down. It really just is not good. It's not good. Don't install your CC there because that's how you get corrupt CC and then you will never be able to find it. I have had so many issues whenever I, before I knew how to do all of this. So it is way better to change everything to a dot package and put it in your mods packages folder. Like that's the best thing that you could possibly do for your game. Just don't install it through your launcher. Unless you just don't, you don't care. That's fine. But if you don't want a bunch of issues, don't install it through your launcher. So hopefully I explained that uh, the best I could. 
So we're going to have this. It's on Mod the Sims, the Delphi's dashboard or Sims 3 multi extractor is going to be in the description below. There is one file, just one file. You unzip it and bada boom, bada bing, it's in your game. You just run the program, select the folder that you want your, uh, you know, that your stuff has been downloaded to and then select the folder and where you want it to be um, extracted to. I just showed you guys that I put it in my download so you could see where, you know, how it changed and stuff like that. And plus, so I could show you the step by step of how I get to the um, world's folder instead of installing through the launcher. So I hope that that made sense. I hope that I explained that good. I sometimes suck most of the time, all the time, suck at trying to explain step by step, but I've had people, you know, ask me or say they prefer, you know, step by step and it's easier to watch somebody do it. So I figured I would show you how I go about downloading a world and you know from step one to step two what I do so hopefully that was explained somewhat decently but we're going to get into the world overview of this part I always say grab a snack and grab a drink because these world overviews tend to be very long and since this is a you know pretty massive looking world it's probably going to be a pretty long video also, people are cutting grass. I'm filming during the day. This is why I don't film during the day. So I apologize if you hear that because I can currently hear it. Let's get into the world. Oh my god, you guys. This world. Do you see this? This is freaking massive. Holy guacamole. This is insane. I can't even deal with how how unbelievably massive this world is. It just keeps going. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get into this. So we are going to obviously take a look around and see what we can what we can do. I don't even know where to begin, uh, but I know I'm gonna have to begin with finding a sim and I'm gonna just go ahead and take the sim right here and select her and we're going to take a look and see if there's anywhere that we can move into right away. I don't really know where we could. Okay, it looks like we've got one place, two places. Okay, we've got a couple places that we can move into right away. This is just totally insane. And then there's an empty lot over here. I cannot wait to take a look into this. Like it is, it is massive. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, um, I did a review on the mod by Lazy Duchess for the Sims 3 patch and I am obsessed. It makes my game, as you can see, it's just like whoosh. It is the best thing that could have possibly come out recently for the Sims 3. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at these couple of houses or I'm not quite sure what they are. Maybe they're apartments. So, okay, okay we can't. Sorry about that. Somebody decided to just be extremely loud right outside. And it's just like, are you kidding me? So <laughs> anyways, we are back. And this is the first little apartment that we can move into. And I am, look at, look at the outside. Oh my God. This is just so cute. Oh my god, I can tell you I'm going to be obsessed with this. This is so massive. What is this over here? Oh my gosh. Okay, getting ahead of myself, I always freaking do that. So here is the first little apartment that we can move into. And it's super cute. It has pretty much everything you need. I mean, love this. I love, I love this. This is like very retro and I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it so much. Okay, so this is the first one that we can move into. And let's take a look at... Where was the other one? Oh my gosh, please don't make any more noise outside, people. Like, this is why I don't day film. My neighborhood is always just doing things to irritate me. So, okay, we've got this one over here. Okay, we can purchase this one furnished, so maybe we'll go ahead and grab this one. Let's see if this, I'm assuming this is an apartment as well. Let's see, load up, please, load up. Ooh, see, I love the way these buildings look. And oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay. So stunning. So freaking stunning. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Here we are over here. Oh, I like this one. I like this one a little bit better than the other, although I like both of them, but look at you have like a little area you can walk out and then you can paint. 
This is adorable. This is a pretty big bathroom. I was not expecting that bathroom to be that big because the other one was not. This one I like. I do. I think I like this one better, which is perfect. So we're going to move in to this one because I think that was it. I think those are the first two and only two other than this little empty lot that you could build on. But I'm not a builder, so we will not be doing that. <laughs> yeah, I think those are the only two lots. So I'm going to go ahead and... Where did it go? Oh my gosh, this world is so freaking massive. I'm going to go ahead and move in here and we're going to take a look at the amusement park. I, that's what I'm looking forward to the All most. All right, so we are back in business. I've had quite a few distractions. This is why I don't film during the day. I mean, it has just been totally ridiculous, but this world is worth it. It is so, so stunning looking, you guys. I am, I am just like in, oh my God, there's even a festival lot. <gasps> You guys, this is insane. Is this the, where's the amusement park? That is what I am looking forward to. Like, I really want to see this amusement park. I don't know if that's what this is gonna be or what is this? Oh my God, there's just so much. I don't even know. I went ahead and sent my Sim right next door because we live right next door to a bar and she's already plopping down and ordering herself a drink, which is hilarious. So this is the little bar right next door. It's kind of like your little dive bar. It's really cute. It has, you know, karaoke, a couple of arcade games. It looks like we have a Sim here. So this must be a townie that they have placed down. So we have her right here. She looks, she looks like she might be kind of, kind of living it, uh, living large here and have a really nice place. I can almost bet you. <laughs> so let me see what else we have. So over here we have the science lab, the world. I'm just telling you right now, like, <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. And is so let's freaking Let's take stuck. a look at, let's go take a look at the pool. This looks kind of nice. This says Olympic pool. Ooh, oh my gosh. And there's a bunch of Sims here too. So we've got a few Sims here. Let me see if I can put the walls down here. So we have two Sims that look like they're about, he looks like he is literally absolutely about to shit himself. And like, same, I don't know how to swim. So I would be also shitting myself. This is so freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness. And then I love this. Like how there's like the high jump up here. Is that what they call it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a swimmer. I, this, it's still really cool. I think this is amazing. I love this pool. And then what is this next door? What is this place? Why is it not loading? Is it just, oh wait, is this a, it must be like a venue or something, but we can't go to it. Uh, and then it looks like we've got a little stadium over here. Are you serious? Of course, it's just like, you know, decor, but it looks unbelievably beautiful. And I'm still trying to figure out where the heck the amu amusement park is. That is what I am like super excited about. Magic fountain. <gasps> Ooh, magic fountain. Okay. I just want to see what this looks like. Come on and load up. This is going to take a while to load because this is a pretty massive world, but I just had to check it out. You guys, I did. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. This is the museum, a Na national Mu museum of art. If I could just get that out. I mean, really, it wasn't that difficult. Um, so here's a massive, massive museum. Wow. Wow. This is insane. Look at how beautiful this is. It's not fully loaded. Oh, is there like a little bar area? Oh, you can come over here and get some snacks and drinks. I love that. I love that little added addition there because you know, that's pretty real when you're going to places like that. There's a little, there's usually places to like grab snacks and stuff like that. So there's that, what is this? Ooh, castle. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce half of this because I don't wanna butcher it because you know, that's just, I don't want to do that. Um, so I just don't want to even attempt it. So let's take a look inside here. So this is just like a little, a little area you can just kind of walk through, but it's so pretty. Like everything in this world is just so stunning. Okay. Let me see. We've got the business over here. We've got a shipyard. Ooh, can we live here? Is this somewhere we could live? <gasps> Somebody lives here. It's a little houseboat. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this one up because we just, we just got to, we just get to see what's going on. So we're going to open you up and we're going to peek inside your home. I hope you don't mind. I'm sure you do, but let's turn on your light. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, this one's really, really cute. I like this because it's like all black and it's like my favorite, obviously. So I like this one. Everything is kind of where you need it. They even have a PC. 
Okay, this is super cute. Saving this, definitely saving this for Esau Paradiso. I want to play an Esau Paradiso, and I think I'm going to create a current household to play in there because I was told that um, it works really well with this, uh, the new patch and everything. So I'm excited to check that out. So if you guys want to see a video of me like creating a current household, let me know in the comments. I would love to do that. Oh my gosh, a hotel. This was what caught my eye. Look at this. Are you kidding? Are you freaking kidding me? This is unbelievable. We're going to open this up. We're, or can she visit here? Can she come here and visit? I don't know if she can come here and visit. She can visit the hotel. Let's have her visit the hotel because I want to take a look inside. That looks so amazing. So do we look at... Okay, we looked at this over here. It looks like there's some more houseboats. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is just too much for me. This is so beautiful. Okay, this one uh, is not occupied, so nobody lives here. So where is... The, is there a downstairs? Is there, oh my god, there's a basement. This is what I live for. There's a basement. There's the bedroom. We've got our bathroom, which is a pretty nice sized bathroom for a houseboat. Our little living space. There's even a bar. I love this. But then upstairs, it's just kind of like your little area oh they even put a little tv here for if you're deciding to drive the boat oh my gosh this is cute you have a hot tub too i'm uh, taking a look what? at this one next door too because this one looks really cool as well uh let's go ahead and open you up and see this probably is a basement one too so it's got the hot tub and then it's got the little seating area here and then i'm assuming everything downstairs yes everything downstairs. whoa they got a massive bar they got the big old fancy bar this is nice. Oh man, these would be. Oh, and they even have. They even have a little um thing to you know deter criminals, but that's not gonna stop me. Uh, let me go ahead and close this one up. She's just about. I think yeah. It's it takes a while to kind of get here, but she's just about at the hotel, and I really want to take a look at this because it is like the major part of <gasps> this world. Oh my god. You're kidding me! Turn on all these lights. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. Oh my god. Look at this pool. There's some sims out here. We got a little girl out here. She's swimming. Oh my goodness. This is so stunning. I would love to be able to... Oh wait, can we go up more? I love to be able to create an amazing resort. I'm so not good at that, but oh my gosh, look at this. Can you imagine just like standing out here and you have like this beautiful view? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is insane. Can we go up anymore? Nope. Then that's just closing it. This is just incredible. Completely freaking incredible. And look at these boats over here. This is too much. This world is too much for me. I can't even deal. There's even people out here. Oh my gosh. We have Barcelona Beach over here. So, oh my gosh, they even have the lifeguard career. I love it. I love it. This is adorable. I would replace this with like the little snack area and maybe a bar possibly, but I don't think, well, I guess a bar would fit there, but I would definitely put the little snack area there so you can have snacks and stuff like that, but also drinks because who doesn't want to come to the beach and have a drink? I don't know. I mean, I've never been to the beach, but uh, if I did, that's what I would want to do. So what do we have here? We have France Rail Railway Station. Let's take a look at this. There's so much to look at. It's incredible. Let me see. I apologize that this is another large world. I just tend to go with what grabs my attention. And I was just searching and I saw this randomly. And I was like, wait a minute, this looks incredible. The pictures look insane. I also saw something on Tumblr that was like a cruise ship, but I'm not sure how to work that. Uh, I was looking at it and it seemed very confusing, but I'm going to look into it if you guys are interested in that. I did reblog it because I was like, whoa, this looks amazing. So we have like a little area for snacks and you can come over here and read some comic books. What else do we have? I guess that's it. That's a little place though for your little rail station. I love it. I love it so much. The detail in these worlds is just insane. I can't even imagine. So we have this little park over here that looks really pretty. Wow, this is so pretty. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so, can you imagine just walking through this park? 
how stunning and they have stuff for kids kids and toddlers you guys know how we feel about this look at this cute little park hidden in here oh my gosh oh my gosh i can't this is so perfect Oh my gosh, I don't know how it would be playing in this world because I am having lag and I don't have hardly any lag, uh, but I'm having more lag than, mo you know, most worlds. We've got a little sim here. Where is your mother? These children are just out without their parents. Like, what in the world? You can't do that. Um, we have Castle of Three Dragons, and then we've got the... Oh, we've got an arch over here, like, like the St. Louis Arch, because... I'm sure, yeah, it's not quite like that. <laughs> it's not quite like the St. Louis Arch. It's definitely a way more beautiful world than St. Louis, let me tell you. Um, so we've got another, like, museum over here. This is insane looking. Look at the structure. Oh <gasps> look at the inside of this. This is, like, magical. And look, I love these lights. Oh, my God. And you can come in here and get married. <gasps> this is so stunning. I can't even deal. There's another child out here on her own. Like, where are your parents like can we just figure that out like honestly i really want to know i'm still looking for the amusement park i feel like it should be sticking out to me and i'm probably like literally looking right at it but where the I fuck have is no it? idea what this is but look at how stunning this is like are you for real right now like what in the world Outdoor ra- Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> Why is this so cool to me? I'm sorry, I'm like screaming in your guys' ears. This looks like it's a little dog park. Uh, there's something next door here too. Youth hostel over here. Whoa, I didn't mean to swing that like that. Let's take a look inside of this here. Oh my. So this has like all of the bunk beds and stuff like that. And it's taking forever to load, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So this is like a little youth hostel place, like it said. And there's also bathrooms and stuff downstairs. Oh my God, you guys. They really have an Ikea. What? This is insane. I have an Ikea in St. Louis, but I've never been to it. So I've never been to an Ikea. I feel like I've never been anywhere, but really, I just, I don't have money to go to an Ikea. So I would get lost in there and be like, oh, well, you know, I'll just come here for the food because apparently they have good food or something. I don't know. But <laughs> this is so crazy. This guy's like, let me just sit here and watch TV and make it like, let's just pretend, you know, where they have those pictures where they're like, oh, I just bought a new house. And they're like in the Home Depot, like bathroom section or kitchen section. I feel like that's what you would do here. <laughs> I mean, like, I just bought this whole new house and this is my, this is my living room space. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. I finally found the amusement park, you guys. It's all the way up here. I was looking around because I was going to look at these little homes over here. And then I went up here. I'm like, oh wait, there's like a road up here. Here's the amusement park. Oh my God. Can she visit? I'm going to have her visit. And while it takes her about 15 years to get there, I'm going to look inside these homes that uh, were kind of standing out to me. Oh my gosh. Look at the outside. <gasps> oh, these are incredible looking. Somebody lives in this house, but of course I have the, um, I almost clicked break into home. <laughs> I have the populated version so you can get the non-populated. I'm now I'm kind of curious to what the Sunset Valley version would look like because it's more suburbs. So, All right, so here's the inside of this home and it looks very, very nice. Very, very beautiful. Look at this room here. Oh my gosh, this is just too much. And then there's this nice, look at this, like this is super fancy. All these homes are so pretty. I can't even deal. And there's a massive, massive bathroom, but it is beautiful. I love how they have like the little step up there. That is so incredible. I just wish I knew how to build. I really do because I've seen a couple of things and I'm like, I wish I knew how to build that, but we just, we're just not going to ever be there. It's just not, just some people, it's just not there for them. And that is building for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have like a little half bath over here. This very nice little living space and also the sounds of a lawnmower outside. I'm so sorry, you guys. I, I, I'm never filming during the day again in the summer. I'm definitely not. Anyways, here's the kitchen area, which is pretty massive as well. 
I'm living for this pool, though. Seriously. Here is the other house that was kind of right next door to it, and she is just about to the amusement park, if not there already. So I wanted to take a look inside this one, because this one was very interesting looking, but I'm kind of obsessed. Like, this is really cute. So we've got one, two bedrooms, and the way this one is, like, laid out is something I would have never, ever thought to do, how the beds are like this. I don't know why it's literally the simplest thing, but, I like, things like this I just would have never thought of. I would have been like, oh, my God, how am I going to make this work? That's why I love people who build. You just, you guys just really think with your brain, and I don't. So, oh, man. But I have learned a few things. Like, this is going to be something I can use. Um... You know, if I have a smaller room or something, I can use this idea, and I love it. So we love to see it. Let's go downstairs and see what we've got here. So we have, like, a little office area with a beautiful window and a gorgeous little view outside of, you know, that place there. And it looks like there's going to be a massive pool, which I'm excited about. The kitchen area is up here, a bathroom, and then another little, like, living space. Let's go down another floor. So this is, like, the garage area. I look at this pool. <gasps> I love it. I don't know why. I just think it's so stunning. Oh, it's so stunning. Let's take a look at the back of this house. So beautiful. So There's freaking also beautiful. Also, another house here in the same little area. It's just down the road. It looks like a damn castle. And I just have to check this out before I end up at the amusement park because this looks incredible. So let's take a look inside here to turn on the lights. And this is also another occupied home. This must be where the rich people live, obviously. I mean, look at this house. Incredible. So this is, again, this is a very interesting way to have a room, but I love this little area here, like where you step up and then there's some more little steps up to the room. Just love this. It's so cute. And go down here. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got a lot of bedrooms. We have three bedrooms on the middle floor, I guess it would be. Oh my gosh, another bathroom, two bathrooms. Wow, wow. Scroll down, we've got another bathroom, a little office area, a gorgeous dining area. Wow, I feel like this would fit in really well for like a Supernatural Let's Play because it kind of has that like that vibe to it. And then look at this little guy. He's so creepy and cool. I love him. I would love to have one of these little gargoyle type of things. One of these houses around my houses has one and I always remember wanting to like look at it as a kid so my mom would have to drive by the house with the gargoyle and I thought it was the coolest thing. I love this house. Uh, there's no basement, but that's totally fine. But it's like a castle. Are you kidding? This oh is my so god, you guys. This is better than I thought it would be. Look at the view. Are you kidding? This is the amusement park, by the way, if you were wondering. Are you kidding me? This is incredible. Do you see this? Turn on. Oh, wait. I thought you could turn on the... The, um... What you call it? Thing to have it go, but I guess you can only turn on the lights. Turn on all lights. Oh my gosh, this is this is incredible. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh, I need to like get my a mouth has dropped like a million times in this world because it's just like what? How do these people do this? Like how in the world? So then you come down here and it looks like there's like a little place to sit. Oh, you can even come over here and practice speech or announce protest, whatever you would like to do. Oh my gosh, but there's like ski ball over here. There's a place for the kiddos. There is a place to get snacks and drinks. There's a bathroom. Oh my god, this is just <gasps> too Oh my god, can you imagine actually being on this and just like seeing everything? This is just so freaking perfect. I am obsessed with this world. I'm trying to see what else we can take a look at. We've got a library over here, laundromat. There was something I wanted to look at and I don't know where it went this to. This is what I was looking for right here. This is a little market area and I am literally dying. Look at how freaking cute this is. Your sim can come in here and just like buy snacks and drinks and browse around. Oh my god, this is so cool this is so freaking cool oh my god i can't even deal we've got of course you can browse through here there's oh my gosh this is just so oh, i'm telling you i can't deal i guess this would be like where you buy fish and stuff like that obviously 
oh my god there's just like a cute little market like how in the world i can't so that's what i was looking for because we were looking at one of the apartments around there and i was like i wanted to find out where that was there's also a little bar over here i kind of want her to check out this place right here which i think is the um we've got the laundromat here the uh library there's just so much to look at and I don't even know what else to look at. Ooh, there is also there a is club. this cute little club. Like, look at this. This is so adorable. It's like a little outside club area with a pool. And it's just super fancy. And I can't deal with this. Like, oh my gosh. I kind of want to save this as well and place this down. This would be a cute little bar area to have or a club area to have in your game. It's uh opens from 5 p.m to 4 a.m so it's one of the late night clubs and then we've got another oh that's the railway station i saw this and i really wanted to look inside this so i'm opening this one up and taking a look inside and seeing what, what this one has to offer so this one is a two bedroom it looks like like an apartment and we've got a bathroom this one's really pretty nice too it's pretty massive and i think it's an apartment yeah i guess it's an apartment i'm not quite sure but it's stunning like look at the buildings the buildings and everything like and you just like look down the street and it's just it's incredible you guys i can't say enough about this world it is just perfect but i obviously don't suggest it if your computer can't handle it because mine is even having a little bit of trouble with this world because of all the cc so i don't suggest it if your um computer can't take it i don't know that i'm going to keep it in my game i might save a couple of things just because it would probably be really difficult um to play kind of like tokyo Sue. i really wanted to play in that but it is uh a very massive world and it is so we're very at the library area which is really nice inside there's a cute little area to sit and of course more places to have a snack and there are some pcs here and there's upstairs as well wow this is way bigger than i thought it was gonna be this is really nice tons of bookshelves and it looks like there's another floor Oh my gosh, there is. And there's even a little place over here to like draw on the board or again, announce a protest or whatever, whatever you will. A place to listen to music. Oh my gosh. The creator of this world did an absolutely amazing job. I cannot say enough about how freaking beautiful this is. I mean, even in, in nighttime, like look at how gorgeous this world is, you guys. It is so stunning. I just can't even deal. I just can't even deal. Uh, this is definitely something that I would take pieces take, like from. some of these clubs and things like that and a couple of the homes and kind of save them. But I feel like this would be very difficult to actually play in uh, unless you have like an amazing ass PC, which mine is really, really nice, but I still feel like it would cause me a lot of lag. But I'm not sure. Maybe I'll test it out and see what it would be like to kind of play. Anyways, it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this world overview right here. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I just hit 8k so thank you guys so freaking much for the 8,000 supporters i can't even believe that we are at 8,000. like that is incredible to me i will have a link to the description in the description to the world and also the sims 3 extractor let me know if you guys have any questions about that i hope i explained it the best that i could and that you guys can understand it and i didn't like mess up anything but yeah, let me know if you want to see more videos like this of like how I do certain things when I, you know, I'm obviously installing worlds or if you guys want me to do how I install CC and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.